my next topic. It does me no, no I have no pleasure in this one at all. This uh, Daddy Lay and the baby. First, full disclosure, again, I don't listen to any of these people's music whatsoever. Know them strictly for what's in the YouTube streets, what's coming up on my algorithm, that's it. Both of them look pretty decent. Handsome man, cute girl, very, you know, attractive girl. Um, but it looks like she had a baby with this, this said the baby, a baby with the baby. Yeah. I'm going to leave that where it is. Um, and she was on the video. I just watched it. And fuck all this shit. And me, I'll be okay with that, guys. And me come back and live Can here and stay me? in Can this fucking house me? with our child. I don't want you to stay. I've been okay. begging you to Yeah, I know. You tried to kick me out this yesterday. This one of them real. In the morning, this so one of them real. Come this one of I'm not tripping on you coming out. Why are you still here? You got to leave. This is real life. This is not, this not the shit with your My parents. Sure. She's a crazy me, bitch. Was you wasn't my, you wasn't my girl. I wasn't your girl. Damn. Damn. I wasn't your girl. Damn. You ain't never my been my girl. Is right there. This is some trap of, this some trap of black nigga shit playing gone wrong. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah, this is trying to trap a nigga gone wrong. I'm trying not going. Trying to trap a nigga? Are you crazy? Shout you just it. came at me last night, idiot. Shout it, you beg me. You be, you be you begging me. me. Last night, you some Somebody tell Maury to call I baby, man. Let me run up a quick 10 M. Yeah, okay. Let me run up. Let me run up a quick 10 M. Somebody tell Maury to call yeah, me, man. Fucking, Let's put this shit on Maury. Start it Maury. Maury material. Get up out my crib. Come no, on, get off my table. No, get off my I'm stuck. Hey, help. 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 Ain't nobody was a part of my pregnancy. You were a part of my pregnancy. You don't need to tell nobody nothing. See, she don't want me to put out her real business with her and her family got going okay, on. That's the real cool. issue. That's not nothing to do with us. This girl got a real, okay, you know, a real Matilda story okay. type shit going on, you know. You. That I, I didn't, I didn't skeet it in the wrong thing. I got yeah. to deal with what come with that. Yeah, Shout it is wow. cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. <laughs> and Shout is not my girl. <laughs> Ain't never been my girl. <laughs> it's my side bitch. It's your what? My it's side bitch. Shawty is a certified side bitch. Not, not, it's fucking embarrassing me like that. Shawty is a certified side Shut bitch. Up. Just trying to act Get like she ain't. No, let, let's Still take it up. Her parents know she's my side bitch. Everybody knows she's a side bitch. She don't want y'all to know she's a side bitch. She got to save her face. She got to crash all the way out. Video, and that was just so sad. Let me just say this. I don't care about these adults. I don't care what you do, what you do. How you get down, it's how you get down. All I care about and all I feel for is the child. That's it. The baby had another baby with Danny Lay. And some stuff happened that happened to wind up on these social media streets that is embarrassing to say the least on both parts. Because I understand this generation would put your business out here in the streets like this. Um, I understand it to a certain extent. Um, and I'll explain that a little, in a little bit. But living your life like this out on social media, airing your dirty quote unquote laundry, I don't, I don't get it. Um, but again, it's not my generation. Um, I'm going to say this, and um, I'm going to let it be, because again, it's not my era, it's not my, uh, I don't listen to either of their music, I don't know them, I don't follow them like that, the only time I've seen both of them was before, in another instance where I guess they had met or she was dating him, and she made some type of video about uh, Yellow Bone, that's what he won't. Um, and, and insinuating that because she's yellow, because she high yellow, we used to call them red bones, not yellow bones, but okay. Uh, because she's high yellow and she supposedly has pretty privilege that that's, you know, that's
that's what he wants. That's why she was chosen. That's why she's better than anything else he's messed with, right? I say this and say it. Um, if a man loves you, quote unquote, loves you, cares about you, he would never treat you the way you're being treated. If a man loves you, he would never say those things to you that he says to you. If a man loves you, he would never put you and your baby out in the street. If a man loves you, there's no, that's just black and white. If he loves you, none of this stuff would be happening the way it's happening. And that's just point blank. But we're living in an age and we're de- dealing in a society to where everything is lived out loud, everything's lived in a camera screen. Um, our emotions are put on blast. Uh, everything we do is put on blast. Everything, every emotion that we feel, we go to social media with, uh, all of our relationships. Not me per se, I'm very, believe it or not, I'm pretty introvert. Believe it or not, with my relationship, I don't, me and mine, we don't get down like this. Um, I post pictures of us, yes, um, but I don't allow anyone in our business, uh, with me and him, um, what we work on, what we do, how we do, um, is between us. Do I have mentors? Do I have people that I speak to? Um, Elders? Um, Yes, because, you know, you want to be around people who have your best interests at heart, who have done something like you or have gotten to where you're trying to get to. And I, I don't think anyone should walk this earth without having someone that they respect that can give them advice, um, good advice. And that, and I don't mean good advice, meaning, you know, say what I want you to hear, what they want me to hear. I mean, tell me, you know, the real, if I'm right or wrong. Um, and those, uh, that's what I, we have in our life. Um, but for these people, for these young folks now, everything is so, it's so on blast. And I shouldn't be seeing all this mess, quite frankly. I don't want to see it, but if you put it out here, I'm going to comment on it. So I'm just keeping it a hundred. I'm keeping it a buck. If you put it out here publicly, like I said with your boy Pope, you put it out here publicly, I'm going to publicly have an opinion on it if I choose to have an opinion on it. There's a lot of stuff I see that I choose not to speak about because it's either stupid or I'm not going to say <laughs> there's nothing there's no add value that I can bring to it, right? And anything that I bring to you guys, I want to bring add value, right? I don't want to, even with Pope, with Brother Pope, I don't, um, even though I criticize, I don't do it in a way that I don't feel I do it in a way. I do it in a way as in educating the people who watch him on his tactics. What you do with what I say is on you. You can take it, you can leave it. It's up to you. I don't care. But I don't talk about things unless I can bring a perspective to make you think, to make you see different. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to be like, oh, this mm-mm, is. Mm-mm. I don't. I don't get down like that. I'm never here to drag or to put another person down. But I will give my opinion. I will critique. I will make mention of, I will bring awareness to certain things that I see that ain't right. So, and that's how I look at this. This ain't right. We shouldn't be seeing this. The fact that she, you know, all this stuff played out in social media is wrong. The fact that she had a baby with this man is wrong, knowing that she was a side piece. But again, I digress. There's a lot of women like this in this world. It's been, it's generational. Um... There's nothing new under the sun. There's always going to be women who think like this. There's always going to be women who feel like this. There are always going to be men who do stuff like this. 
it's not this has been since air right but I can still say it ain't right it's not right um, the fact that he was irresponsible and had a baby with her knowing that he don't love her like that is wrong the fact that she thought that she could change him with a baby was immature and idiotic you don't know what you don't know, obviously. Obviously, your parents ain't told you nothing or you don't listen. You don't see what goes on here. Or you thought that, you know, because of what you bring to the table, quote unquote table, was enough. And these men, especially men like that, they don't care about that. They don't care about that. They care about uh, the game. They care about conquering. They care about only them. And you fell privy to, you fell prey to that. At all points, this man was showing you he did not love you. At all points. She tried to put up all these videos. Up, uh, hold on. Okay. As I was saying, she tried to put up all these videos on her Instagram, on her Instagram story or feed, whatever one is called of all this you know their time together from 2019 i think to 2020 2020 a lot of a lot of videos right but did anybody see what i saw when you're looking at her you can clearly see she's in love she is in love with that man right i mean her whole body language her whole every picture she was the one mainly taking the picture she was the one mainly putting them out there like that right was showing this this PDA, this public uh, show of affection, right? But if you look into his eyes, you saw nothing. He thought nothing of what she was doing, of how, you know, taking pictures of him. This only promoted him. You know, that's more chicks for him. He had... <sighs> Did anybody see what I see? That's all I gotta say. Did anybody see what I see? He literally showed no love his eyes were cold no love for that girl none none but it still doesn't negate the fact that he had a baby with her you have a baby with her you have a responsibility to that baby he kept saying you know it's uh, it's you know unfortunate i got a queen to raise you know that's it's very unfortunate that you have a baby to raise with her and you don't love her and she has that baby has to experience this mess you know you treating her a certain way um, because you don't love her and that's who I feel sorry for I feel sorry for the baby right the little baby not the baby the little baby that they just had <sighs> so I'm gonna get back to what I thought about him taping at a certain point I understood and I was talking about this with my husband I understood to a certain degree why he was making the video especially when she was hitting him right you know, women who put their hands on men sometimes, you know, if you do that, you're trying to knock the camera out of his hand. Stop, you know, pushing him in, you know, putting her hands on him. I've done that, you know, in my lifetime. I'm not, you know, I'm not here to be, act like I'm something that I'm not. But, you know, when you're too touchy-feely, sometimes, you know, things can escalate. I have never, never escalated to that, but I say that to say, when you're one of those women that's touchy-feely like that, it can possibly escalate, right? And so, it, social media, to some extent, cameras, video cameras, phone cameras, heck, can save some black men's lives or men's lives in general because some women, I'm a woman, some women lie. Some women, you know, say things, over exaggerate things, start crying, uh, lying saying you did something, you put your hands on them. So, you know, to a certain degree, I understood what he was doing, right? When he was taping her, her reaction. Because, you know, it can turn out different ways and depending upon where you live uh, and your relationship with police, with the Pope, it can turn out, you know, not so favorable for men because of what a woman says. Because what a woman says you did to them. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, in some in some instances, and in, in this instance, uh, a piece of the video, not all of the video, um, I understood, especially when things were escalating uh, with their conversation. 
that he was taping it. You know, he wanted to be protected, so to speak, with regards to something popped off um, and calling the police and stuff like that. Do I think he should have kicked her out the house with a baby? No. Um, but I think he said he was trying to put her up in a hotel. I don't know. But again, <sighs> to this young girl, Danny, you are not you are not the prize, sweetie. You're not the prize. And if you thought you were, I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry for you. Because the signs were all there. This man was not loving on you. This man has never shown any type of real love towards you. He's shown lust. He's shown his sexuality. He's shown that, you know, you give him an arousal. You know, based on what you do. That's it. That's it. What you thought you were seeing, what you thought you was experiencing, it wasn't what you thought it was. It was not what you thought it was. And again, I, I just say it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate that they have a baby in this mess now. I don't. When is y'all going to learn to stop, you know, having babies out stuff? But then you talk about, you know, the baby mom. And I'm just going to say this. It don't look good. It, men who do this, I have a little amount of, a little amount of respect for them. When you get, when you have children with women, or you mess with women, or you sleep with women, and then you try to dog the woman out, call her all kind of names, you know, talk about the way she look, how the way she act, how the way she, you know, she take care of herself. Ninja, that look bad on you too. Because you slept with her. Okay? It looks bad on you too. For you to run around and talk about how you know how the problems that you have with that with said female you know what i'm saying it looks bad on you it don't make you look good when you talk about you know you talk about your uh baby mama or you talk about the girl you done mess with or you made your girl or you slept with that turns around and looks bad on you too it used to be people like that there was one dude used to talk about his wife like that i'm like ninja you married her you gonna talk about her hair you gonna talk about how dusty she looked, how dirty she looked. Ninja, you married her. You had kids with her. You didn't just, you know, you didn't just date her and this stuff came about. You dated her, had kids with her, and wiped her up. What does that say about you? What does that say about you? So I don't respect nobody who talks about somebody who you you dating or who you with, who you sleeping with uh, long term. You know what I'm saying? If you crept up on something and it, you thought it was what it was and it wasn't, then, you know, <laughs> you got got. But for people who are in long-term situations, y'all been dating for months, years, y'all married, y'all got kids, and then you want to go off into these tangents about how dusty, how nasty, how she don't do this, she don't take care of herself, she look this her this stank, that stank, she don't do what that say about you, bro. <laughs> you with her. <laughs> so miss me with that. Miss me with that. So I'm gonna get off of here. I just want to say this real quick. I didn't want to take too long on this because like I said, these are not people that I normally listen to, get down with. I'm not a fan of. You know, I'm you know, they are just, you know, some people that are in the public in the social media eye. Um, quote unquote influencers that these young people look up to listen to which again is unfortunate um, all together because they think this is the way this mess goes and that's why we got so many people out here doing crazy stuff in relationships and talking about how relationships don't work relationships work but watch who the hell you messing with stop just dating with your freaking mind stop just dating with your freaking you know that part stop just dating with your damn emotions dating relationships yes they are lovely when they work but they're also business they're also business relationships you know what i'm saying so young people get around some older people 
to lace you with some game. You don't have to try to figure this mess out by yourself. You need to stop listening to these people that's out here in these streets. They live on a different level than you. They're not you. Um, they're experiencing things at a different at a different pace and at a different level because of the money that they make, because of the, uh, the fandom that they have. This is not your life. This is not how your life is supposed to happen. You are at a different you're at a different level, a different playing field. Act accordingly. Find somebody in accordance with where you are. Be realistic. Stop letting these people determine how you how you get down. These are not how relationships work. This is not how it goes. You don't go around dropping kids uh, uh, with people you don't really like. You don't go around supposedly, you know, leading people on, having relationships that you not even, you know, you, of people you don't even feel like that. This is not reality, y'all. Stop, stop. Get out the matrix. <laughs> Get your butt out the matrix. That's all I gotta say. So, thank you guys. I'm gonna talk to you later. I think I got another one to put out, another video to put out. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. You know what it is. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's whatever. I do not take offense. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hit that notification bell if you like to see more. All right, y'all.